so hello everyone i am memisha ravani and today i am going to uh, deal with the topic that is qualitative and quantitative research and what sets them apart uh, in the paper of uh, research methodology these are my uh, informations yes so what is qualitative research that is qualitative analysis oriented in gathering information focuses on describing a phenom uh, phenomenon across a larger number of participants thereby providing the possibility of summarizing characteristics across groups or relationships so qualitative uh, research method is basically uh, when we do the non non uh, numerical work in our research and uh, it focuses on the characteristics of or the um, abstract things which are not uh, quantifying and uh, the study of groups uh, while we are uh, going for these uh, social relationships and all those things and uh, the, uh, the qualitative approach to gathering information focuses on describing a phenomenon uh, phenomenon in a uh, deep comprehensive manner so now we know that what is quanti uh, quantitative research and qualitative research quantitative research when we uh, want to uh, uh, find out or uh, numbers or uh, basically it goes with the uh, quantity which shows uh, the data analysis or uh, that kind of thing and qualitative research is the uh, when you go to the study uh, phenomenon uh, any phenomenon uh, ideas or uh, like that test hypothesis uh, it is based on the uh, hypothesis which form in the test and uh, qualitative research that formu uh, formulate hypothesis it is the uh, form of the formulations uh, expressed in numbers as we know uh, we know that quantitative quantity is always comes with numbers and express in words that is qualitative research larger sem uh, ra larger sample size quantity research when we do we got uh, samples in a larger form and uh, qualitative research it it works like um, small uh, smaller sample size like uh, it goes to uh, from individual to the group a math and statistical analysis uh, which uh, fall fall down uh, in the box of quantitative research and uh, summarize categorize and inter interpretation and uh, we can see that these uh, three things uh, which is very personal so uh, when research researcher is doing research uh, while using the qualitative research method, then uh, these things are there to follow. Now, qualita uh, qualitative research is deemed to be uh, much more fluid and flexible than quantitative research in that it emphasizes uh, discovering novel or unanticipated findings and the possibility of alternating research plans in response to such uh, serine uh, Depicious uh, occurrences. So here, basically, it uh, wants to say that qualitative research is more flexible than quanti uh, quantitative research. It focuses on finding unexpected or new discoveries and allows researchers to change their plans if something unexpected happens during the research process. So uh, here we can see that qualitative research is more uh, flexible. Uh, uh, now. Uh, we are going to the points that what sets them apart. So first is orientation of meaning. So when we go to that point, we find that qualitative literature uh, research is uh, studying the pheno phenomenon and quanti quantitative research is studying the measuring and quanti uh, quantifiable co content of the research. Data, uh, like uh, let's say for example, um, we want to analyze the color blue, blue color, so if we go, go to apply the uh, qualitative research, uh, we will go uh, to spot it, the blue color, uh, like how blue color is interpretation by the people, like color is cool and all. And if we apply the theory that is quantitative research, it, uh, it measure the blueness of color blue. So now we can uh, get the idea from the example. Uh, date, uh, second point is data and cases. So uh, qualitative literature, that is good uh, data, form of the data is like uh, 
from small to many it can be applied and in the qualitative uh, quantitative uh, research that is particular number of data and uh, when we collect the, uh, so many responses from the people but it will be applied uh, for the few cases hypothesis and founding uh, qualitative qualitative research that is uh, a new founding and uh, quantitative research will pre predetermine uh, when we go to the uh, this point, then we find that if researcher is uh, applying the uh, qualitative research in between uh, during the research, research is going on. So if if researcher is finding a new uh, a new way to look at the research, then uh, it will be flexible for the uh, researcher if we it, if uh, he or she is applying the qualitative research. But if a quantitative research, it is also predetermined. Then another point is researchers' con uh, conceptual roles. So uh, qualitative research will always uh, more the side of researchers uh, rather than the uh, research. And quantitative research, uh, there the researcher has to play the role of the designer or the data is already done. But how to design the data and research? That role is uh, uh, of the researcher. Then the sensitivity. Sensitivity is more uh, more in the qualitative research rather than the quantity research. Then uh, the goal. The goal is uh, when a researcher apply the qualitative research, it is a descriptive goal uh, he or she will find. And if you are applying the quantity research, uh, then researcher will find the specific variables measures. Uh, in the form of goal. Now, uh, since all research methods have costs and benefits, and since they differ greatly in their particular cost and benefits, a researcher generally finds it's, uh, it best to use some combination or mixture of methods. So it is not like that uh, from this only uh, two methods are there. If re uh, researcher is uh, going to research uh, both the data like descriptive and as well as the numerical data or the measurements uh, kind of data so uh, researcher has to use the multiple kind of uh, uh, methods uh, or the, uh, he or she can use first qualitative and quantitative or uh, as per their trajectory of research it will be a fall when we speak of qualitative and quanti uh, quantitative and qualitative methodologies we are in the final analysis, speaking of an interrelated set of assumptions about the social world, which are philosophical, ideological, and epistemological, they are encompasses more than simply data gathering techniques. So the, uh, this view is by the Bremen. Now the method, another I have put, uh, that is triangulation method. Uh, triangulation method refers to the use of multiple methods or data sources in qualitative research to develop a comprehensive understanding of phenomena. Here the uh, four types of the triangulation method. That is first is uh, method triangulation in that researcher can use the, uh, the different kind of methods or multiple methods uh, when researcher uh, wants to use The theory triangulation, then uh, researcher has uh, can use the different types of theory in that uh, in the research. Uh, second is the investigator triangulation in that uh, uh, when research is uh, done by the two or uh, more than two researchers uh, to get the more observation, then it theory will be uh, applicable. Data source triangulation in that uh, data for dif uh, from different types types of uh, like group or the individual or community, different kind of, uh, we can uh, take on that. These are my work citation. And uh, this answer is from uh, JGPT and uh, um, it gives me uh, like, not in detail, but uh, Whatever it gave me that is true, uh, I can found. And also it gave me the uh, points which I can read to get the general idea about uh, my topic. Any 
citation of the things are given in the result? No, sir. That way it was not given. Uh, citation of the things. And, it gives me very general ideas about these uh, methodologies. Hmm. Uh, so, like uh, earlier also, Himan she told the same, but then you have to again ask question. Then it gives you something particular, uh, examples. So, first general, then you ask particular point that in this 